Okay, a few minutes ago I made a video about how I couldn't figure out how to use Google SketchUp to create objects for trains, but right after uploading that I realized I found out how to do it correctly, and now I'm going to show you how to do it. And the reason why is because the only tutorial on how to use this is in another language that I can't understand. I'm pretty sure a bunch of others can't understand it either. So I'm going to make an English one. And 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 I'm going to be using the New World Trade Center as an example. So first, click download. This is this is located in the Google 3D warehouse, by the way. You can you basically you basically just type whatever you're looking for in the search engine, and hopefully it's in there, and you can actually just download it. Uh, click SketchUp model. It's called Untitled. Okay. Now I'm just going to go in Google SketchUp and click File Import. Uh, is it in? It's probably under Downloads. Yeah, it's not in here. Let me look for it real quick. Okay, I found it. I was looking under the wrong file type. This is Untitled. Oh, I have to get rid of the other, this other thing. How do I get rid of that? Hold on. You know what, I'll just start over from scratch. Okay, anyway, file, import. This one is called Untitled, so click on that. And now we have this. Now I'm going to click File. Actually, no, wait, that's not, that's not what I'm supposed to click on. What was it called? Oh, I think it's Extensions. Oh yeah, click on Extensions. Then click Ruby TMIX. You have to download this first though. And then click Export to Trains. Oh, it looks like it has to be saved with a valid name. So I'll just click uh, File, Save. Okay, I'm saving it as New World Trade Center. I guess I'll put it in Documents. Okay, now, extensions, Ruby TMIX, export to trains. Okay, uh, number, hold on. Okay, it's been exported. Now I'm just going to, now I'm going to tell you how to install this Ruby TMIX thing, because it's actually kind of difficult. First, you basically just, what I did was, I clicked download Ruby TMIX in the um, Google search engine and then after I downloaded it, it I got this um, zip file you can't use any of the files that are in that zip folder to actually install it you have to first where is it? it's in here somewhere first you have to take this zip file and rename the extension to dot rbz instead of dot zip sometimes you may have to download it more than once to get it to work as you can see because this is like the second one that I did and it actually worked for that one but the first one it did not change anything to it anyway once you get it once you get it renamed you go in here click windows I mean window and click preferences then you click install extensions and then look for it. It should be this one. Ruby TMIX 120.rbz. Then you just click on it and click open and then follow the instructions. Now to actually create the item, you go to Content Creator Plus, I mean Content Manager Plus, and, pr and press Control N. And then, in this case, I'm creating a scenery object, so click Scenery, and then click New. And then, name it whatever you want. I'll call it New World Trade Center. Okay, after naming it, press Control S, Enter. There are a bunch of errors that are going to show up. We'll get rid of those later, but first, click on this and press Control Shift E. Double click this, change this from 3.4 to 3.5 or higher. That, that'll make it, 
so that you can export it to the download station later on. It only accepts numbers that are at least 3.5 or higher. Now the next thing you have to do is go to the um, file that it exported the mesh to. I think it's in downloads. Okay. Okay, here it is. Ruby TMIX output. Oh, that one's empty. Where did where did it put the files in? Now I have to look for them. Hold on a second. Okay, I found it. It was in the documents instead of downloads. Okay. Just copy all of this, except the config file. And then right click, press copy, and then go back to, where was it? To this file, the new asset folder, and click paste. Now all the textures and everything you need are in here. Now, Click on this and Control Shift C to edit in Content Creator Plus again. Okay, now change the category regions. I really don't think it's that important, but someone else might. And then change the region. Okay, where is it? Okay, now under mesh table, click default. Right now it's red because there's no mesh there. Just click on this. And click on the IM file, which in most cases is the only thing there. And now you have this. Let me zoom out so you can see it. This takes a long time to zoom. The only problem is you can't re it can't really it doesn't really have a night mode. I'm not really sure how to give it one, but maybe someone else can do it. Man, this is taking a long time to zoom out. Is there a faster way to do this? Still zooming. Okay, almost. I'm not really sure how this is how detailed this is gonna look in the game though, to tell you the truth. It doesn't really look that detailed right now. Anyway, for thumbnails, to, this adds an image to it. You need that in order to upload it to the download station. I told it to automatically generate one, so here it is, thumbnail.jpg. And of course this has to be 240. And this number has to be 180. And then just control S to save it. And then control M to commit it. Now I'm going to test this in the Cape Hatteras lighthouse I built earlier in trains to see how it works or how it looks. Okay, it's not faulty. Now I'm going to test it real quick. Okay, I'm not sure why, but they're not appearing. Well, it won't let me use them. It's weird. It didn't show up as faulty at all. This is why I don't often try to create objects for this game. Everything, everything is always so overly complicated. It looked like it was going to work fine, but then you can't click on it. Even though the mesh appears, I don't understand what's going on here. And it's not showing up as faulty. Hmm. Oh wait, I think I know what I what I did wrong. Let's see. Auto create. Yeah. Oh <laughs> that must have been the mistake I made. Auto create and then have that checked. Okay, see if that works. Okay, now instead of having warnings, it shows up as not faulty, so it probably works. Oh, and here's the warning that I decided to ignore, but apparently ended up being very important. It says this 
asset does not have a mesh that is visible by default. That is why I was unable to use it. Because I forgot about that all important auto create. So under default, right click, click auto create and make sure that it's checked. If not, it won't appear, obviously. And this is actually something I know, this is just something I forgot to do. And committed, of course. Now it's no longer faulty. Okay, now it's visible. And now I can click on it. And it's actually very huge. <laughs> it's so big I can't see the top. <laughs> okay, now you can see the top. <laughs> You have to go really far away. Yeah, because this takes up a lot of space. Anyway, let's see what the Cape Hatteras lighthouse now. And here it is. Wow, it's taller than the other lighthouses I have in this game. It's almost twice as tall as this one. Let's see if it has a night mode, though I highly doubt it. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't have a night mode. Oh well. Anyway, that's how to use Google SketchUp to create an item for trains.